Joey Bruno has been playing in trumpet since we opened 18 years ago, and he is a very dear friend of ours. Uh, we love him very much, and he is a very special character. He is full of joy. He brings happiness and lots of stories to people everywhere he goes. Um, I remember once I did a gig, and it was uh, an old Italian gig. I was I was hired to sing in Italian, and I said, okay, I'm going to put together all an Italian band, and we got Jerry to play bass with us, and everybody in the band, Roberto Nissim was there, right, playing piano, this many years ago. We had a good time, and he knew all the tunes. He knew all those Italian tunes. I was amazed. So, you know, I'm going to read to you what he wrote, because this, this kind of depicts his life. He says, we started as teenagers in our living room in Rochester, New York. Sam, Al, and myself exchanging chord progressions. Sam played piano, Al on bass, and me on guitar. We had to keep our ears open at all times because Sam would play only in major keys like B, E, F sharp, and A major. <laughs> Lots of sharps, right? As time went on, we gathered some of the neighborhood kids that could play, others we would show them the door. In February 1942, one month after Pearl Harbor, I received greetings from Uncle Sam and spent nearly four years in the Pacific, right through to Japan. It was a great experience. I was back home in Rochester Christmas 1945. After being home a couple of months, I received a call from the Rochester local to fill in with Louis Prima's band at the Palace Theater for a week. I was thrilled to be with my first big band where I met Morty Lewis, Mo Wexler, and Jimmy Vincent. After the gig was over, Louis called me to his dressing room and said, Kid, I'll call you. I said to myself, forget it. But sure enough, three months later, he did call, and I joined his band at the Commodore Hotel in New York, stayed with Louis for two years, and joined Vaughn Monroe's band where I met Bucky Pizzarelli. That's another story. We have been fighting for 60 years. They played all over the place uh, together for many, many years. Tommy Dorsey nailed for a short while, and it was one of the best musical experiences for me. Tommy was a no-nonsense guy. If you didn't play your instrument, he had a special door he would throw the guys out. I settled in New York and lived with Don Costa and Marion Evans, two giants of the music world and learned more of what music was about. We used to record almost every day with stars like Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, Stephen Eady, too many to mention. I produced the CD for Mary Burke, Johnny Burke's wife, and Music is Great, a real lovely lady. I still love playing the bass, and at this point I can pick and choose. When the phone rings, the first thing I ask is, who's on the gig? <laughs> Mr. Jerry Bruno. Jerry Bruno, bassist, in recognition of your extraordinary accomplishments and contributions to the tradition of jazz, congratulations on your induction into the Trumpets Hall of Fame, October 29, 2017. Oh, I love being here and receiving this. This is a snack of one. <laughs> and I can't talk too much because I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 